is up and welcome to another vlog so this vlog is a bit different than the vlogs that I normally do for you guys um, this will be a more of a tip photography tip type of vlog um, it's something that I've never done on my youtube channel but fun fact um, those of you who didn't know I don't think I mentioned it previously on this channel actually but I'm also a photographer so that's actually how it started I did a course in photography and then that went over to videography and although I do a bit of both um, but then I started my YouTube channel because I started loving doing that and going to places and experience uh, things for myself and exploring new uh, places so yeah no, now you know that as well but I thought that I will make a vlog like it will literally be what do you do when you just start out with photography like so it will just be basic tips that I will be sharing with you guys and I hope that it will help you out a bit um, just from my experience as well that I've learned so far so over the next couple of days I will be doing a lot of photo shoots um, specifically matric farewell photo shoots that I will be doing and I will be yeah I thought it would be good to just share some tips uh, maybe you just finished a course in photography and you want to go more into that it will help you out um, just basic tips so maybe or maybe you bought your uh, new camera and you want to start out whatever the case may be I am going to give you a few tips tip number one I shoot with a Fujifilm camera this is the camera that I use when I do photo shoots now I know especially when you are a professional photographer and you are doing this quite a while or some years you will probably tell me yeah but this is not your best camera on the market I know that but this is the one that I can afford for now and I mean it does its job so um, as long as it does the job then um, then it's good I mean cameras as you all know are very very expensive especially the lenses as well so um, so this is the camera that I can afford and I always tell people that it doesn't help you when you you have the best camera on the market the biggest one the biggest lens but you don't have an eye for photography or you, do, you are not a creative type of person then the photo will just be boring or it will just be a normal photo like when another person takes a photo so that is my that is something that I've learned so anyway I shoot with this camera and for me it's it's good enough for now I mean obviously I'm always clean your lens before you shoot because even say for example there's a hair on on the lens then that will obviously show up on the photo as well so make before sure you take do a photo shoot then make sure that your lens are perfectly clean now obviously don't use a wet cloth because you will damage the lens and then also your camera um, use a dry cloth a clean dry cloth to clean the lens properly so the second thing and I cannot stress this enough is always always have enough batteries now my uh, previous camera that I had was a Nikon camera unfortunately it it had its days so I cannot use that one anymore but it used uh, the lithium battery this one it's like a block uh, battery this I actually prefer this type of battery because you can charge it so make sure you have enough of these and it's fully charged um, the camera that I showed you that I used now is only use the the normal these type of batteries um, now obviously you get rechargeables in them as well with the that you can charge them and everything they yeah but they can be become quite expensive but any case so always always make sure especially when you have a lot of photo shoots that you need to do uh, make sure that you have enough batteries then also you can use a tripod um, you can use a gimbal 
but yeah, I mean, then <laughs> those stuff are, are really expensive. Um, so yeah, it depends on your size of your camera, um, what your budget is and all of that. But yeah, I can go on and on and on, but like I said, this is only the basic, basic stuff. But sometimes people tend to forget the basic stuff. And those are also the important type of stuff. Also, what I do, I don't know, yeah, obviously you can see my t-shirt. So I made myself about a year ago, more than a year ago, I made myself my own t-shirt. So yeah, when you go to places, other places or locations, and other people walk by, they can see, oh, okay, you actually have a photography business. You are not just a normal person that is taking a photo. So this is also a means of marketing. Um, this also helps a lot. So yeah, this is only the basic, basic type of stuff. Um, so I hope it helped you out. And I will, in this video or in this vlog, I will include the different uh, photo shoots that I go to I will include a clip of of them all here just for you to get a basic idea and um, yeah so smash the like button leave a positive comment down below and engage me with me on this channel um, if you feel that I left out anything else um, and yeah let's do this all right so I am officially off to my first photo shoot um, the first of the many there is for the next three days and uh, it's super super hot but anyway <laughs> um, yeah so I'm first going to take you the first location is um, at Fairview I also did a vlog there previously this year so let's do this <laughs> I encountered a, a bit of a problem of the rainfall that we had the past weekend I have this now to deal with that damn thing and you need to go through that um, yeah, to actually go to the people's house or that I need to uh, pick up. So yeah, that's actually my situation at the moment. But um, all good, enjoying nature, living a little. I mean, what's life without a bit, a bit of difficulty and uh, yeah, challenges? Otherwise, life will just be boring. So it's all good. <laughs> Okay, so say they arrived. It was getting harder to ignore. Kept on stitching up the patches. You know, we're only pretending. We're only weak and lonely. And I think we both know it. Why can't we face it? Hey guys, so this was another vlog. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so this was literally the basics that I gave you of the beginner photographers um, that's starting out or that only bought their new cameras now and they want to start and to learn more about photography and it's very very nice to do it if you have a passion for it but there's a lot of 
um, challenges as well there can be a lot of challenges as well um, for example there there were a lot of challenges during during these um, during these photo shoots that I have done but that's how you gain experience so in the end of the day you can learn the basic course do all of that but it's the experience that counts so I hope that these tips help you a bit it's like I said it's literally only only the basic tips but it's also the important tips and that those that you tend to forget sometimes so anyway smash the like button leave a positive comment down below engage with me in the comments down below share it with your family and friends and um yeah i'll see you guys on the next one